Hey, I'm Joe Bartlett, aka The Knife Nerd, here in um, association with uh, ChefsResources.com. Got another knife review for here for you. So uh, today we're actually doing something different, something I really never have had to deal with before. I'm trying out a ceramic knife. So here we have the uh, Takeda. Um, it's a highly pure, super fine ceramic knife. They call it a uh, uh, ceramic cook's knife or chef's knife, but I would uh, more categorize it more of a, uh, a penny knife or a utility knife because of the size. So I'm going to take this off now and take a look at it here. Very, uh, very lightweight, very comfortable. So uh, one thing they've explained about the ceramic on this knife that they said it's harder than steel. Um, the only thing out there that's really harder than it would be something made uh, from diamond. So one thing about having something that hard is the harder it is, the more brittle or fragile it is and everything. With a ceramic knife, you definitely wouldn't want to be very careful with it. Uh, wouldn't be wanting to uh, tap it on any countertops, drop it on the floors, because otherwise, uh, Going back out to the store and buying a new one. All right, so first thing we're going to try here is uh, if I'm missing a shallot, see how this thing works on uh, some good vegetable work here. Wow, it's actually going to really easy. Okay, I was pretty impressed with that and actually went through fairly easily on that one. Okay, so next uh, we're going to try doing a uh, basil chiffonade here. See how it works on that. Ideally, we should be able to get through this, no bruising. I just flew right through that really easily. Single signs of bruising or tearing on it. All right, so uh, next we're going to uh, try to do a, uh, a nice brumois on this uh, onion. See how easily it gets through this uh, onion skin. Look how small light it is. I did, uh, I did have to work it a little bit to try to get through there. because of how small and delicate that is. It's a little, little more of a struggle of getting through the larger vegetables. Okay, definitely have to use some sawing action to get through here. center. I think uh, the onion is a little bit big of a vegetable for, uh, for a knife this small, this, uh, this light. Okay, so one thing they've explained about this knife, that uh, the 
food doesn't really stick to it at all. So we're going to give that a test with the starchiness of a potato. We're going to try to do some potato slices on here. Actually, not sticking bad at all. It falls off really easily. All right, so uh, next we're going to check to see how it does on the density of a carrot. Go ahead and first try taking off ends here. Very small, very lightly magnetic. So let's go ahead and try and see if we can cut this down a bit, try uh, doing some more of the fine work with the uh, carrot. Hard to keep it going in a straight line though. struggles with the carrots. Like I said, very small, lightweight little knife. I wouldn't be using it on that kind of heavy prep anyways for the more dense of vegetables. All right, we're gonna see how this does on the one-handed tomato slice test. That part of that tomato really easy. tomato skin very easily. All right, so next up we're going to try to do a push cut through a piece of paper. Ideally you should be able to go clean through, no serrations, it should just be a piece of cake. So uh, let's see how, uh, how this bad boy does. Definitely gets through clean. A little more difficult to push through the paper. But uh, yeah, it's a very sharp knife though. All right, there we have it. The uh, Kata uh, ceramic knife. Um, like I said, it's a uh, more of a petty knife or a utility knife. Not really big enough to be considered a cook's or chef's knife. But uh, I would definitely would say it's something to use for some good fine garnish work and everything. It's got a nice razor sharp edge on it. Uh, would not be something I want to use on my uh, regular daily prep list, but overall I think it is a uh, good product, and uh, at 13 bucks, definitely worth buying. That's what I got for you, thanks.